right, Algebra 1, Lesson 119. This is on the quadratic formula and then using or the use of quadratic formula. All right, before we start doing that, um, I want to write down a few things. You kind of learned this, uh, let's see, Lesson 117 or 118. I guess this is the last lesson, yeah. So, this is the a, um, the, a normal form of the quadratic equation. So, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay? You kind of need to know that that's the general formula for a quadratic equation. Now, um, let's say I had 5x squared plus 2x plus 8 equals 0. Okay? In a minute, you're going to learn about the quadratic formula. Okay, so you might want to write that this is the quadratic I meant to tell you this equation. All right, let's say we came up and we had this equation. All right, um, the, it's going to be best for you to underline A, B, and C. A, B, and C. And you may even want to go B and then C3. So A, B, and C, A, B, and C. And go on and write those out to the top. A, B, and C. A is 5. B is 2, and C is 8. Now, the reason why I encourage you to draw this and then go and come up with ABC is because when you learn about using the quadratic function, this is what the quadratic function looks like. X equals negative B plus negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, first thing I would do is always put your letters in parentheses. Oops. So you don't forget that. Okay? That's an important step. Otherwise, it gets kind of confusing. And then everywhere you see a, you're going to put 5 in. Okay? Everywhere you see B, you're going to put a 2. It comes in really handy if that was a negative 2. Let me show you. Because I have parentheses, I know this is negative 2. And then when you have a negative, negative, it makes it positive. So it's important. I'm going to want to lend that as a negative. Because it's important that you have parentheses around it. That way you know that that's, you're um, squaring the negative 2 each time. All right, and then C is 8. All right? So I used my quadratic formula, which I wrote down. Hopefully, um, you wrote it down. If you need to, you can look at the book in the very bottom of page 501. That is the quadratic equation, but I've already changed my B and my A and my C's and stuff like that, okay? Okay, now, once you get it to this point, um, I'm going to show you what to do, okay? So I just wanted you to learn how to go from this to this by using these. All right, so let's see. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put our normal um, quadratic equation there, and I'm going to put underneath it the quadratic formula, just so um, I remember. So x equals negative b. I'm going to go and put everything in parentheses. Plus negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay? Now, that's what we're going to be using every time. I'm going to put this. All right. Now, let's take the first one. We're just doing three problems, so let's look at this. Here's the equation they give me. So they're going to give me the equation, and this is the formula, the quadratic formula. Okay? Quadratic formula, quadratic equation. All right? So, here we go. They're going to give me a quadratic equation, and then they're wanting me to use the quadratic formula to figure out the roots of the equation. So here we go. 3x squared plus 2x minus 7 equals 0. Well, the good news is we already have something x squared, something x, plus or minus 7, and then equals 0. So we've already got it set up. Now let's come up with our a, b, and c. A, all right, a is going to be 3, 
B is going to be 2, and C is going to be negative 7. Okay? Negative 7. All right, now that I know that, all right, I'm going to erase this. All right? And I'm going to use this up here, this quadratic function, using these numbers. So, x equals negative. My b is a 2 plus negative, square root of. This time my b is a 2 squared minus 4. a is a 3. c is a negative 7. See what I'm doing? All over. 2 times, you're just inserting your... Um, numbers in your ABC. Okay? And now we actually perform the problem. Alright, negative times 2 makes negative 2 plus negative. Just bringing everything down. Alright, 2 squared is 4. Now I'm going to want to put this there. Okay, so 2 squared minus, um, I'm going to want to make this plus negative so we can go and multiply, multiply, multiply. Um, plus. Um, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and negative 12 times 7 is 84. Well, it's a negative 7. So negative 12 times negative 7 is a positive 84. All right, make sure I'm still, yep. All right, all over 2 times 3 is 6. All right, I'm going to move this direction. So now I've got negative 2 plus negative square root of, and then 84 plus 4 is 88 all over 6. Okay? Now, um, I want to show you something really quick because this 88, do you remember um, doing prime factorizations? Um, and so basically 88, once we break it down, okay, it's going to be 2 times 22, okay? And so, um, I'm sorry, 44. And then uh, 44 breaks down to 22 times 2. Okay, it keeps breaking down um, until we finally get down to 11 times 2. And so what ends up this being is, um, I'm going to go in and write 2, 2, 2, and 11. So this is going to be the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times 11. Okay? Now, let me make sure I'm still doing this right. Yes. Okay, and then... If you remember, the square root of 2 and the square root of 2, if you have two of them, it can change to just 2. So, I'm going to take off this square root. Leave the square root on this one. So then the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is going to give us a 2. And then square, um, 2 times 11, we're just going to want to fill it out. It's just going to be 22, since there's nothing else we can do. Okay? So then I've got minus, or negative 2, plus minus 2 square root of 22 over 6. All right, now, this 2 and this 6, they will reduce. This 2, 2, and 6. 2 will go into everything. So 2 will go into 2 one time. 2 will go into 2 one time. And 2 will go into 6 three times. Okay? And that is your final answer. All right? X equals, remember X equals, and this is the equation. And that's how you would leave it. Now, if we could go on and add or subtract doing this already, we could do that. Um, we would go my, uh, negative 1 plus this, and then divide it by 3, and then we'd get that answer, and then we would go negative 1 minus this, divided by 3. But since we cannot subtract or add this, we just leave it as it is. All right, now I did um, make sure you're always remembering to do this plus and negative, or plus and minus, all right? Make sure you're bringing it down, because you're going to actually have two X answers, um, and this one, we just left it as a plus ne or positive um, negative. And the reason why we did that is because we could not add these two. So you just leave it. All right, I'm hoping they're going to show Yes. This next one, we're actually going to come up with two answers um, because we will actually add this last part. Okay, so let's do another one. You'll definitely need to practice these next two to make sure you're understanding it. All right, use the quadratic formula to determine the roots of, and then it's got negative 6, equals negative, wait a minute, yeah, negative 2 square, x squared, sorry, negative 6 equals negative x squared plus x. Now, I'm going to put this in the correct form, so um, I'm going to move this negative 6 over here, which is going to become a positive 6, and then equals 0. There we go. And where my x is, I'm going to make a negative uh, 1 on those x's, okay? 
That's all I've done, I've done different. Now, I'm going to use this formula. Um, a, my A is what? Negative 1. My B, so this is my A, so this would be my A, my B, and my C. My B is going to be a 1, and my C is going to be a 6. All right, now that I have that information, I'm going to erase this. And we're going to use this quadratic formula to answer this problem. X equals negative. Now remember, keep everything in parentheses. 1 plus negative, square root of, what's my B? 1 squared minus 4. A is negative 1 and C is 6. All over 2 times negative 1. Okay? I'm going to give you a new marker. This one's not working very good. Okay, so here we go. Let's work it. Negative 1 times, or negative times 1 is just negative 1. Okay? Plus negative, all right? Square root of, I'm just writing this down. So here we go. 1 squared is 1 minus, um, I'm going to make this plus negative. So negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, and positive 4 times 6 is 24. Okay? All over, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. All right? So then, I'm going to keep going. Negative 1 plus negative, square root. 1 plus 24 is 25. Okay? All divided by negative 2. All right? And we'll keep going this direction since I can't go further. Negative 1 plus negative, and square root of 25 is 5. All over negative 2. Hopefully you're staying with me. So now, this is good because this is where we're going to use our plus and our negative. So, we're going to say negative 1 plus 5. So, negative 1 plus 5 makes 4. And then 4 over negative 2 is going to give us the answer of negative 2. But, what if I did minus 5? So, now we're going to do, so that's one of my answers. So, now I'm going to do negative 1 minus 5, which is plus a negative 5. So, negative 1 plus a negative 5 makes a negative 6 divided by a negative 2. Alright? And negative 6 divided by negative 2 is a positive 3. So, x is going to equal negative 2 and then 3. And that's your answer. That's how you would do it. Okay? Hopefully this all is making sense. Let's do one more to make sure you get it. Okay? Use the quadratic formula to find the values of x that satisfy this equation. Negative x equals 7 plus, actually it says minus, minus x squared. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this um, negative x squared over. So it's going to be, I'm going to move it up a little bit, x squared plus negative x, and then this equals 7. So all I've done is move this across so far. Okay, and now I'm going to move this 7 across, which is going to become a negative 7, and then I'll just put it equals 0. Alright, so now we have it all together, and I'm going to put 1's in front of this. Negative 1x. Okay, and 1x. Okay, so now let's come up with our A, B, and C. Remember, A, B, and, whoops, A, B, and C. So A is 1, B is negative 1, and C is negative 7. All right, now that I know my equation and the answer, I'm going to erase it so I have more room. And we're going to use this equation up here. X equals negative, and my B is a negative 1. That's why it's important that we put it in parentheses. Plus negative, square root of, B is negative 1 squared. Make sure you're keeping your parentheses for A is 1 and C is negative 7. All over 2 times 1. Okay, and we just keep going. Negative times negative 1 makes it a positive 1. Plus negative, square root. Negative 1 times negative 1, because that's squared, is going to give me a 1. Minus, or plus negative. Let's go and do that. Alright, and so negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28. All over 2 times 1 is 3. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, now we're almost done. So then this 1 plus 28, I'm going to go and erase and put over 29 like that. And I believe that is as far as we can go 
Let me make sure before I say yes. Okay, so yeah, because we cannot add or subtract because of the square root, it's an irrational number, so we just leave it like this, making sure that you have this plus negative to show you that you can plus that and then minus that. All right, final answer. All right, that is lesson 119.